Hey guys, I got a cool one for you today. Today we are looking at this Grand Lodge. It is a Wildwood made by Forest River. It's a 2021 model. Uh, I believe the model is a 42 FLDL, so it's a 42 foot destination trailer. Um, these things are great if you're moving a couple of times a year and you just want the, the comforts of a big, big motorhome, or, or to, to, not motorhome, pardon me, RV, to, to feel like you're at home. Because these things do, they feel like a house. They're impressive. Um, so I'm not going to talk too much. I'm just going to kind of show you. These things are awesome. Um, big propane tanks here, a couple of gallon, seven gallon propane tanks, um, a big battery there. Most times you're probably going to have hookups and your tongue that you're probably not rolling up and down too often. Um, let me just get you a nice view of the side here, but really where this thing is awesome, I got to get inside and show it to you. But big, huge, tall ceilings. These windows are wonderful in the living room. Slide topper awnings. I'll leave that end uh, slide as kind of a surprise there, but look at the size of that and uh, start asking yourself some questions. But um, anyway, I'm gonna leave that for now. I'm not gonna go too much on the outside because the inside is incredible. I wanna spend the video in there. But again, you got the nice big awning out here, monster awning that comes out, makes this whole area feel more like a patio than anything. Uh, two doors, but I'll show you that from the inside. Some outdoor speakers, it's super cool. So we just come take a look. How about that? So walking into this thing, like it's a house. It's a house. It's a big boy. I mean, look, with all this, I mean, this this is awesome. Imagine just having yourself parked next to a river, a view on top of a hill, whatever it might be. Beautiful field with trees on it. That, who knows? Whatever you're doing, this is wonderful. Huge windows all throughout this dining area. You got the um, recliners here, perfect setup across from your awesome Greystone fireplace there. So that's going to put off good heat. You have a giant propane furnace, heat pumps on the roof, um, a 50 inch TV there with the sound bar built in. I mean, it's it's awesome. I mean, and this thing is it's a 2021, never even got used. Um, not going to go into the story behind it, but it's there's there was no good reason to have to get rid of it other than basically the county told someone they had to. So their loss, your gain. Um, anyway, so big, huge, tall ceilings. I mean, that's 10 foot tall ceilings. I mean, it feels like a house in here. You got the nice big island, great storage underneath here, um, all the way throughout. For everything like that, great storage here. Um, good visibility of the counter too. A lot of times they'll put these cabinets in and you feel like you're kind of putting your face in it, but great space to work in your kitchen here. Plenty of counter space for uh, toasters, what have you, coffee pots, anything like that. Um, big, big microwave, you know, residential size microwave. It's big. You got the residential style fridge with the um, water on the door. But look at that. I mean, it's nicer than the one I have at home. It's kind of a shame, but... I'm gonna step my game up. Good basement freezer there. Um, regular conventional oven there. Good storage throughout. Big, big doubled in stainless steel sink. It's kind of different. Um, the couch behind you does pull out into a bed. Again, these are reclining chairs here. Nice dinette. Kind of a rustic feel to it um they did that on purpose to make it feel more homey in here did a good job of that but anyway uh ceiling fan on the roof we got three ac units let's come check out this this is where this thing gets kind of crazy um first things first there is your commode good size bathroom awesome size shower um porcelain potty definitely not going to feel claustrophobic in here um and then i mean how nice is that how often do you have a shower in an rv where you could fit two people in it and you absolutely couldn't hear and some you got the nice seat in there wand for that uh makes it nice and comfortable when you're showering even extra space on your your counter there which is just again not what you see in your typical rv all right we'll wait on that but nice little step down here into the bedroom Gives you that nice good ceiling height, even though we got a nice little surprise for you up top. Um, and then good counter space, nice drawers there. Um, I believe we get a little bit of storage under this bed, not a ton, but good, a little bit of storage under there. Maybe put some shoes right there, whatever you want to do. And then you have the nice kind of walk-in style closet there with room for a stackable washer and dryer if you wanted to use it for that. And then good storage throughout here. Nice, 
deep cabinets and drawers. And then USB ports, plugs on either side of the bed. Makes it easier, just, you know, CPAP machine, charging your phones, all that good stuff. But, all right, let me show you something I hadn't really seen before. Oh, let me just mention, as a parent, it's very nice having your own exit door in your bedroom for quick escapes, go outside, take a breath, without waking up the rest of the family and the rest here, and the rest of the house here. Uh, these are great central vacuums. So we have the ones that go into there. You can use it for just cleaning around the house. These are my absolute favorite, the sweep in. So as you're sweeping, you just kick that thing up, sweep into it, and it's gone. Um, kind of like sweeping it under the rug, but this is actually the right way to do it. It's sweeping it into the dust bag. All right, let's check this out. So this is something I hadn't really seen a lot of here, but going in, you got a full staircase heading into the loft here. Now the loft is typically, you just think of them for kids, not so much in this case. Maybe this area over here where it's a little bit shorter, um, you are crawling to get into bed, but it's you know kind of a, a good sized loft. It's more of a bedroom than just a loft for, for a kid that's plenty of room for his thing, his or her things, pardon me, I have boys. Um, and then a good sized bed there. And kind of nice, a little, uh, puts them in, they make them a little jailbird with all those uh, railings in there. So they can probably bug you all they want from in there. Um, and then moving into here, I won't make you crawl, but this is a big space. And the nice thing about it, yes, you do crawl, but when you're sitting down, I mean, I'm a pretty tall, I'm all torso too. I'm a pretty tall guy, but I'm all torso and I can sit up in here pretty comfortably. So this is not just strictly, don't let the teddy bear fool you. It's not just your kids up here. Um, you could absolutely sleep adults up here comfortably. Um, it'd be kind of a fun way to end your day up here with, you know, some friends or whatever you're doing, um, before you crash out for the night. But you get some nice built-ins here, uh, a little bit of storage underneath there with plugs to it, uh, USB ports, things like that. Um, it does not have a TV, but it is set up for a TV with plugs, cable hookups, um, and to your antenna hookups. You do have a Wi-Fi booster in here too, so um, however you're using that TV, but it's easy to put in. And then don't expect you to get that, but that's deep storage, probably about three feet deep or so, um, if you can see it, and from ceiling to wall or uh, ceiling to floor. So anyway. That's basically it here. I'm gonna, just cause I don't feel like crawling past the camera, I'm gonna end the video on here. Um, but there's a ton of different things on here. These are one of those things that you're probably gonna spend so much time in this unit that videos are great, pictures are great, but nothing does the justice of coming and seeing them. So um, if you're considering going to Destination Trailer, which is an awesome option for people, they're getting more and more popular for good reason. You get more room than a fifth wheel does and there wasn't a lot of things you could say that and it's not, it has a better resale value than these park models, having the holding tanks. There's anyway, there's a lot of reasons you're you know people are buying these. If you're looking at this, you probably know your own reasons for looking at it, so I don't need to tell you. Um, but come and see it. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer any questions. But um, basically, just want to do the video, give you the layout of this thing. Um, I, I, these things normally don't stick around long, so hopefully you're seeing this video and it's still available if you're interested. Um, but super duper cool unit. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, again, it's a uh, 2021. Let me see if I can get all this. It is uh, a Wildwood Grand Lodge made by Forest River. It is the 42 FLDL. Um, it's a 42 foot model. It's, it's a big boy, um, nice and tall too. So I'll leave it at that. I mean, it's, it's not brand new by definition because it's been bought before, but it has not even been used before. So um, it's a new unit at a used price. So guys, uh, if you're interested, give me a call. Hopefully I still have it in inventory here. Again, my name's Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon, showing you this uh, 2021 Grand Lodge. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hope to talk to you guys soon.